There are 700 in this box. I'm trying to figure out a spot. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Editor Sid here, and I filmed this about a few months ago, but I just wanted to give y'all some backstory as to why I'm doing this whole sticker thing. I promise you, it is not gonna take long. Just follow me over here, okay? Hey, welcome to my desk. So for those who don't know me, I am a UC Irvine alum. And if there's one thing that most people know about UCI, it is these stickers here. You've probably seen videos of UCI students running across campus wildly, trampling over each other, tripping, falling, on the pursuit of these kinds of stickers. They range from all sorts of designs, from gaming to pop culture to even anime. All these designs are centered around one singular template. Petter. This is UCI's mascot, Peter the Anteater, but then drop the second E and you get Petter, which is our mascot's derpy looking cousin. Back in 2018, at the start of the school year, random stickers using this original design began appearing on UCI campus. They would appear on windows, doors, even trash cans, and nobody could explain why. But soon a Reddit account popped up because of course Reddit, right? That would explain a few things about why these mysterious stickers were appearing on campus. The second sticker came around Halloween time in the form of a scavenger hunt on the UCI subreddit. It led students deciphering codes in the libraries to trekking through bushes, all to find this locked box containing the new Halloween petters. For all future sticker drops, Petter began following a format that's most commonly known and used today. They started an Instagram account and would use the Instagram stories as announcement posts. The location came at the exact time of the drop, and it was always in some obscure location on campus. So students would then have to decipher where this location was at UCI and sprint over because supplies were limited. To remain anonymous, Petter wore a signature full body black morph suit and a red beanie and would stand at the location that they announced and hand out stickers until the supplies ran out. Initially, these drops were kind of small and low key, but Throughout the course of the school year, and as stickers spread across campus on laptops and tablets, people began catching wind. I filmed this video at one of the final graduate petter drops, and there were several thousands of people just waiting in line for a sticker. It had truly become a part of UCI culture. This final graduate petter marked the end of who we now dub OG Petter at UCI campus. He would soon show his face and reveal that he was graduating. However, this wouldn't mean the end of petter culture at UCI. From the start, Petter explained that the sticker design would be open and free for anyone to use. Even during the first year, there were already copycat petters popping up and doing their own drops. For example, the first copy petter and my now friend Petter the Plant Eater started making these holographic versions of Petter. There is only one rule to follow regarding Petter. No one should ever profit from the design or the stickers. People have certainly tried to make profit out of header merch and stuff, and they have been absolutely crucified by the UCI community. In the years since OG Petter's graduation, I would argue that Petter culture has only grown stronger at UCI. There are hundreds of Petter accounts, each specializing in their own specific niche, ranging from kid shows to fast food companies to even certain new now coming back to my petter drops, this is where I differ a little bit. So I plan and host in-person events for the UCI Discord server. And before you guys start roasting me in the comments for being a gross Discord mod, I don't have mod powers. I just make events, okay? I've hosted all sorts of events, such as barbecues, beach bonfires, hikes, and even talent shows with as many as hundreds of people showing up for an event. Join discord.gg slash UCI. Shameless plug now aside, I started doing Petter Drops in 2021 as a way to keep the community together during the midst of the pandemic because obviously I couldn't do in-person events anymore. To involve the community as much as I can, I host sticker design contests for server members to submit and vote on their favorite designs. Last year, three designs tied for first place. To account for this, I printed about 400 of each of these stickers and in a series of several drops, I handed them out. I differ a little bit from the Petter tradition in that I don't really wear the full body morph suit to hide my identity. As a fairly public face, at least on the Discord server, I don't feel like I have to remain anonymous at these drops. Truthfully, I'm doing this more for the community. I get designs from the community, pay for printing these stickers, and just make sure everyone has a good time.
I don't know, what, whatever they want to do with the stickers. So yeah, this year, one design won, and I printed about a thousand of these stickers, and I'm gonna go hand them out on campus right now. See you guys there. There's 20 minutes left until the drop, and the issue is I have to figure out a place on campus to do it at. I kind of don't want to do it in the open, because in case there's a big line, I don't want it to mess up everyone. Here's UCI campus, I'm trying to figure out a spot. I'll get back when I figured out a place to do it at. So I don't know if this is an ideal place, but I'm gonna go with the engineering ICS location here. All right, I'll announce it. We're the first one here. Yeah, really just right there. Thank you. Right outside your door. Yeah, thank you. Ah, thank you, the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My sweater, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So I just got back from the drop and I have about 200 left, which means I gave away 500 of these stickers. It's pretty cool because the first drop I did only had about 200 people show up. I don't know, I'm kind of tired. Saying you're welcome to like 500 people showing up is, it's a bit much. I still think it's fun though. It's pretty cool that so many people showed up. I still have to give away um, the rest of them, which I'll probably do in a future drop. The tendency I think for most petter droppers is that they print a very limited amount, um, more like 200 instead of the thousand I have, so that it creates a scarcity. But for me, my intention was really to give away stickers to as many people as I can. A lot of people who came out, they said it was their first petter sticker which was pretty cool. What was also cool was people showed up with their own petter stickers to give me. Uh, just like this one here with the with the drip. So I think that concludes it for this video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. I don't know.